so I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. I've Um, it's just like I'm running over to a friend's house to try on some shirts for her clothing company. But I figured I would show you guys what I do to get ready. That's already in my Wells Fargo Mobile anniversary. Receive money from just about anyone with a US. So I brush the hair. We need to talk about tampons. Yeah, tampons. Lola makes tampons, pads, and liners from 100% organic milk. Lola, and you can order whatever to you. Lola, Lola wants. Feminine care products for women. Lola gets. <sighs> Um, I also have a sick fascination with cutting off my split ends, so I look for those. It looks pretty good. There's one. I do this at stoplights too. Yeah. Alright, fun fact. The more split ends that you trim, the less haircuts you have to get. Oh. Time to put shit on my face. Not literally. My skin is fairly normal. One of my bottles busted in my bag. I don't think it got on anything though. Good and surprising. Oh, where are all my brushes are gone? Hold on. I just cut back from visiting the buff friend, so it is still packed. A little case of brushes. Nothing too crazy. Uh, my skin's fairly normal, so I'm not gonna worry about putting anything on it. I also haven't wiped it down. This is like, <laughs> we're gonna see how fast I can do this makeup, because again, I'm literally just trying on t-shirts. This would be like an everyday makeup type of thing. All right, so I like using, oh, this is so super old. The uh, <laughs> thing's almost wiped off. All right, so I'm using the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream from L'Oreal in medium this is what it comes out looking like super pale right rub it onto the face if you're somebody that doesn't need a whole bunch of coverage you don't like the feel of makeup on your skin i don't like makeup on my skin it makes my face itch i just need it to like make everything the same color do, 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 do. so like when i do other people's makeup i'm not this rough but it's my face so like fuck it whatever so you're just gonna put this all over your face hide all the things that make me look like a normal human I'm not really gonna worry about putting it up on my uh, top part of my cheeks that much because I'm gonna keep some of the red in there. Oh. The bald spot's getting weird. Next, eyeshadow. So this is actually a cheek color. Balm Springs. Um, that's the color. I like to put it on my eye. Okay. And pop that for a little bit of a smoky eye underneath. Now you want to make, on this top part, you want to make the line a little bit thicker so that it's going to poke up above your lashes. We're going to go in and do a liner and you don't want it to be like right on top of each other because then you won't see it and it was a waste of product. Okay, so now I'm taking my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus, which is a cream in a pencil form. And it's going right into the lash line. I'm gonna go right into the lash line very lightly. Period products for women by women. Apparently Pandora feels like I really need tampons. Okay, so now I'm taking this Lisa Frank. Uh, it's a matte bronzer. I'm looking a little pale to dirt. I'm gonna go in and do a little contour. I know that's not what a bronzer's for, but that's what I'm using it for. So in photo shoot, because since I have a double chin, photo shoots I tend to lose my jawline. So I just go in and create one. Little contour on the side. This round part here 
This is giving me a little bit of an angle. I am gonna go with my Katie Cat Eye with a white liner. I'm gonna do just the middle. Okay, and now I'm going in with my Pacifica Coconut Blush. Uh, Pacifica Coconut Blush. And I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna use some cheek. I always start with a darker cheek color underneath. Because then we're gonna go in with a different color. Okay, I've had this thing for forever. Uh, it's Milani is the brand. Coralina is the blush color. And it's got this awesome little iridescent shimmer to it. It reminds me of Orgasm from uh, uh, Orgasm from NARS. And it was like five dollars. And that was gonna go on top. Okay. Now we're going to go in and blend. Different brush. Okay, we're getting there. So now I'm going to take my um, It Cosmetics By Pores Pressed Powder. Maybe. Come on, you. There we go. If you've ever wondered about the makeup at Forever 21. I buy it all the time. It's great. You just have to remember you get what you're paying for. So like your pigmentation is going to be a little off. Um, but this is one of their lip crayons from Forever 21 in the color natural. That's a terrible color, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do, which is look natural. My natural just happens to be not this color. Let's wipe this off. Yeah, no, that's awful. Well, that was a fail. Put some Vaseline on. Put on a little mascara. 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 And then I'm just going to color in just a little bit. Ed Shireen, I love you. Please come visit, sing to me. I see fire, cause I love Ed Shireen, I see fire. <sighs> Clean up, cause your girl got some bags. That's <laughs> not terrible like you can see the you can see the darkness it's not terrible I'm gonna do a thing so I'm using um, it CC cream color correcting full coverage cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. I'm using the that thing. Feel the heat on your skin. So I'm just gently patting. Because you don't want to rub, because then it'll rub off. And it'll create lines on your face, and you don't want to do that, because that's no fun for anyone. It just sort of brings the tone down a little bit since my cheeks are so red. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that bronzer right underneath my eye. Co coconut palette. Wow, wow, That's my face. And then with my hair, I'm gonna put a little dry shampoo in it and then put a few curls in it and then I'll be good to go. So thanks for joining. Bye.